so I've been asked to do another video. Um, you can tell my front basket is off right now. Um, because it wasn't held on the best, and I gotta wait to get some new bolts. So I got the sound tube on here. And that's covered up, so rain won't get in it. That's my, uh, pull-up cigarette plug. Not how I'd like it to be, but, uh, yeah. And I just held this winch thing on. Here's the ODI grips. I don't know if I talked about them much, but look how soft those grips are. These are the best grips I've ever had. Um, uh, Here's the LED whip. Uh, it so far. The only complaint is on the 420. It's kind of crooked. Um, they are um, swamp lights. They measure 27 right now, but they are 26s. On 12 inch wheels, SS wheels. Um, we got a winch. It's a champion power equipment. Harbor Freight uh, synthetic rope. Uh, I'm about to have custom halo headlights, the halos are in, are in the basket. I took all them out. Uh, yeah. The shocks are turned all the way up in the front. And on um, this setting for the very top one on the rear. Uh, no, that's changed. Out of gas, so I would sort it, but I can't. Um, I'll go on riding around tomorrow, so I'll, I might take a short video of me riding around and stuff. Uh, these did have all three holes when I got them right here, but I have rode them on the road. So, um, basically, the rear ones are got decent high tread. The donuts on the pavement don't help, but I am getting 30 zillas soon. Uh, like I said in the last video, I think, I think they're gonna clear right here. I mean, they're gonna have to obviously trim these are 27s right now, a little bit over 27, like 27 and a half because they're taller than I said 27. My buddy has, but uh, this is definitely gonna have to be trimmed, but. I'm not hack trimming and stuff. They don't fit. They don't fit. Go sit to the garage until I get a um, um, stretch. Because they're not going to go on it until it like they're working right. Oh, yeah. I forgot it has MIG tuning underglow lights. I don't have them on right now. But, yeah, it has those. I finally got the app. Like I was talking about in the last video, I didn't remember what it was called, but finally got it. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got watermarks. Well, it's freaking cold. I didn't want to have my hand on that rag long. So, I'm going to do a right, a proper way to do it. Uh, the uh, uh, clean, but I didn't care. Uh, I'm kind of mad that I'm when I took my basket off, I'm going to have to rock these lights again. That's my sound tube turning on. But um, I might put upgraded LEDs in here instead of doing the halos. But uh, yeah, the only really issue with it is that's correct right there. And I've seen this on all of them, but it's kind of bullshit out right there. Yeah. It's a pretty nice bike. I love a lot different than my 300 with this two to four. I love that about it. Um, a lot more power, of course. Uh, yeah. I just got a new build. It's a 350D. Well, here's a gist of it. Me and my buddy, we got a free 350D, and uh, we're having a build off. So it's me, one of my friends, and two other of my friends are buying one, and we're having a build off. It's gonna be who snorkel sealed the best. Which I'm winning that already because I, I know I know how to do that stuff, so I'm obviously gonna win that. And who goes the deepest? Our snorkel. Say, say the handlebars right here on the 350D. Mm, maybe about here, something like that. And uh, it's gonna be who can go through most mud. They have to buy a recon to get the fit in the budget, so we're winning that. 
Now, the thing I don't know is we're doing a speed test. I doubt we're going to win that. But the deepness test, we're winning it automatically. It's like not even a thing. But it's fun to go deep, so we'll do that. But I'll keep you all updated on that build. Um, I'm doing red racks and gray plastics. It's going to look nice. It's going to have red grips, red seat. Um, I have... The first set of tires that you saw on this, those uh, Sedona Mud Rebels, um, I'm putting them on that 350D. I don't know what wheels were doing or not, but the 300, the rear end went out, pulling a couch, and um, I'm about to get a new one put in it. Uh, oh, and I have two 250SX uh, three-wheelers. Um, one, the rear end's out. It one, The white one is in a little bit worse shape than the red one. But, uh, uh, I'm asking 800 for both. Need them gone just to get some money and stuff. But, yeah. Mo mostly get the money to pay for the tires is one thing. Uh, I found a pair of 30 Zillas for, like, uh, 300 bucks. They look almost brand new. I gotta have more money because uh, this is all in the wallet right now. Like 50 bucks. So I need to get a little bit more money. Well, I, of course, I have more money in the bank. But I'm not planning on using that. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn my rear shock down and see what it looks like squatted. As you can tell, it's not squatted right now. But it looks good without that front rack. But I like the front rack on there as well because it's so useful. And I like the feeling of driving with it. Uh, if you guys want me to do a video on this Honda Pioneer, I will do that. Um, it's got 26 Maxes on it and HD alloys like my old ones. It's only got adjustable shocks in the rear. I don't know if that's for carrying stuff or whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Uh, well... If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So, uh, yeah. See you on the next one.